Adaptations Sermon uh, by Brian Danford. Uh, this is my Adaptation Sermon. And we are in a very arid place as you can look around. Things are very dry. There's not a heck of a lot of water. However, if you look right over there in that crevice, you can see where water has been. Water has crashed over that and there's been water during the spring. But this place gets eh, 8 to 10 inches of water a year. And so um, it's a place where things have had to adapt. And so they have like look, these things, the cacti that are by me that are pricking me in the leg, um, have spines instead of leaves so they lose less water. Um, they're succulent and they hold water very well. They don't need um, a lot of water to make it through um, through this time. And you have that tree down there that's called a pinion pine. Um, it's a pine tree and obviously if you look at the growth um, these pines can be <laughs> 50 to 100 years old and not be very big. But um, there's another one over there that's a little bigger. But these are very common in arid areas. There's a little bit more vegetation in this area because there is water every now and then. Um, but just like these adaptations, um, everything has an ad adaptation. A lot of these have waxy coverings to protect it from drying out and from water loss. Um, if you notice, all the leaves are either needle-like or non-existent. Um, things like, I'm going to paint over here real fast, like this Mormon, this is called Mormon tea, it has ephedrine in it, or sufedrine I guess is what the proper name is, used for congestion. However, don't take it um, unless it's diluted because it can stimulate a lot of things and make your heart beat a lot faster than it should. Um, um, they hibernate during the winter and some like wood, the wood frog can freeze part of their body. A lot of the critters here were uh, adapted to this area. Um, that whimpering is my dog who's trying to go after a lizard which are all around us. And there's more reptiles than anything because all they need to do is they regulate with the environment around them. They are able to take in the sun and heat up or at nighttime when the temperature drops like crazy they can use this cold to uh, <clears throat> to cool off again. Um, so they don't require a whole lot of um, of energy in order to make it through and they also get a lot of their water from things they eat like if you eat a cactus and or berries there's water in them that they can live off of and just like animals we have to adapt by picking up um, ourselves and keep going we need to not take in the things of this modern world like cars and if you